on the good old hammer lap pullover machine, an absolute gem if I say so myself. This will challenge your lats and tiers major in their mid-range position most, but there is still ample tension at both the lengthened and shortened positions as well, which is why it's so brutal and a much better movement option than a free weight pullover. Use the seatbelt feature and lock yourself in, especially when your loads increase. I wish this particular piece had a foot safety bar, so be cautious getting the set started as that overhead stretched position will be your most vulnerable. As with all back movements, focus on your elbows rather than your wrists or hands. That cue alone usually helps people feel their back work more. Pull your elbows down towards your hip without letting your chest dip forward in the bottom position to keep tension on your lats. Bracing is challenging on this as there is a tendency to overextend your low back in the top position, so keep your abs engaged to prevent an excessive scissoring effect with your ribs and pelvis which will decrease power output. I always try to use rep tempo to make each set as hard as possible, so here I am doing a full two second isometric squeeze at the bottom for all I am worth, and then a full four second negative. My back off set used the same weight as my top set, but I only did a four second negative with the goal of matching, but hopefully beating rep numbers. I'd usually prefer to program this earlier on in my back workout rather than at the end, especially before my main lat row movement of the day, so I'm going into that with my lats fully pumped and getting great contractions. Try this out and let me know what you think. Performance chiropractic in the Houston Bay area, as well as great products and educational resources via BioLink.